Hello, it's Dan Webster here, the head professional at St Anne's Olympics Golf Club, and I'm back with another of my weekly news videos. I was hoping to be outside today and filming in this gorgeous weather, this gorgeous sunshine we had. The heat wave was predicted, and sure enough, it came. We had it on Saturday for about five hours, and everyone got burned, and then it's been rubbish since, and it's rubbish again today. It's Tuesday today, it's ladies' day, the ladies are all out there in umbrellas, waterproofs. It's horrific yet again. I believe the South are getting it fine though, so good on you down there. We're really struggling yet again here, but hopefully nice weather next week. I'm fed up with talking about it. So uh, back to St Anne's Old Links and our captains qualify round one this Saturday just after the AGM Friday night. A very successful meeting, I believe. Incoming captain Peter Barrett and incoming lady captain Jackie Helstead accepted their positions. Good luck to them. Incoming lady vice captain is Tina Ackroyd and incoming gents vice captain is David Stanhope. So if you know them, uh, by all means, pop and say hello and congratulate them. If you don't, I'm sure they'll introduce themselves to you over the next few weeks. Uh, and by all means, let's give them some support this year in their year of office. Uh, so yeah, the captains qualify round one. Some great scores. It was a yellow cheese medal and first place was Simon Firth with a 68. Great work, Simon. He's been spending a bit of time working on his game in here in the studio so we can see it does actually pay off. Second place was John Kearden, 68 also. You might see him in the middle of winter. He's wearing a t-shirt, very hot-blooded. Uh, great hot score as well on Saturday. And in third place, John Ryder also with 68. Good score. Special mention, Sammy from the shop also shot a 69, not a bad score off, plus one, uh, great to see him playing so well, and he came fifth. So yeah, Sammy's got a good year ahead of him, lots of amateur tournaments to play in, and uh, we all wish him well. Uh, great score, Sammy, well done. So later on, on Saturday afternoon, we did a captain's drive-in. This is an annual event. I get my suit and tie on, and I introduce the captains onto the team. We had a great support this year. We had a good 40 or 50 golfers watching. Uh, the captain teed off first, hit a 270-something yard drive down the first. Absolutely nailed it, whether it's the adrenaline or what. But yeah, well through the dip. Congratulations. Uh, incoming junior captain Oliver Openshaw also hit a nice drive, a little bit down the left. Didn't want to outdrive the captain, I believe. And lady captain Jackie hit a superb drive as well. Everyone played nicely over the first and ninth hole. And then upstairs, they went and had a fantastic buffet, I believe, and all went very, very well. Then over onto Sunday, Johnny uh, from the shop here organised the Halifax and Huddersfield match. This is an annual match that they play home and away each year. Very successful. They had quite a stressful time putting the team together. I think there was a few late dropouts and movements around. But congratulations, Johnny. Well organised. A very well run event. Uh, and St Anzol Links playing against the Halifax and Huddersfield district take a 14-12 lead into the second leg. That's not a bad going. This is uh, the best golfers from the Halifax and Huddersfield district versus our members, okay? So, and it's a scratch event. Uh, great to see us competing at such a high level and um, for us to feel the team of scratch golfers to compete with a district, basically. I believe the course was playing nicely. The growth, the warm weather is helping and that growth obviously is more than welcome. This cold conditions now and rain, I'm sure it's not going to do much for the growth, but the rain will be absorbed well, and I'm sure over the next few weeks we'll see even more growth. Be careful, the rough, the rough will become a bit more lush as well. I've been busy in here coaching and fitting these last few days. This morning I had a coaching session with a member, and he was just struggling with distance, struggling with power. I'm going to explain a bit about why. He was hitting his 7 out of about 125 yards, uh, and I explained that his golf swing seemed to be very much his hands and arms wasn't really using his body to hit the golf ball uh, and sure enough once we understood that during the downswing he needed to use his legs use his hips and a simple drill i gave him was to just throw a golf ball and as he threw i filmed what he did and you could see how his legs worked and there's this sequence where his weight transferred across onto his left foot however with a golf club it was very static, his weight stayed back. Once he realised that his throw movement was what something he needed with his golf swing, I didn't encourage him, by the way, to throw his ball down the fairway or his clubs, but we sort of spoke about how he would really finish with the weight through onto that left side, his belt buckle facing the target, and use the left hip and that right heel together to move through onto the left hip. I'll hit a couple of shots. First one, without using my legs. So you can see... Very static lower half, use my hands and arms. Nice shot, that's carried 120 yards, run out to 134. 
Second one, you'll hear a difference here. I am going to use my lower half a little bit better. One thing I must mention, I've got a pair of the Skechers shoes on, very comfortable. Skechers are a new brand to us here at St Anne's Old Links and down at the Golf Academy. Very comfortable shoe, very, uh, it seems to be giving me a good stable support certainly and very sensible price. We have actually got a few pairs of last year's model on sale here at the Old Links and then all the new collections down at the Academy as well. So it's worth having a little look at. Okay, so I'm going to use that connection I'm getting with the ground and really drive across onto my left side here. You might hear a difference. Okay, so use my lower half. You can see that ball flying well past my last shot. Carried 150, run out to 169 yards. It wasn't just the shoes that did that. However, certainly a good ground and good stable position my feet allow me to drive through onto that left side. Just another point as well, um, another fitting I've done recently, a golfer came in with his Ping driver, G30 driver, wanted a, wanted a bit more distance. Um, I was hoping to buy, I was looking to buy maybe a new Telemade or a new Ping G400 driver. Uh, what we realised though, his actual driver he'd set is a 10 degree head, but he'd set it at 9 degree, so a bit low lofted. And also when you t change the loft of a club, it actually lower, it opens the face. You change the loft higher, it closes the face. So, when he opened the face, it enhanced his slice, so his 9 degree enhanced his slice, and his ball flight was a bit too low. By all means, we could have hit a few different drivers and found some more yardage from a, a spending three or 400 pounds on a new driver. However, on this occasion, I just tweaked the loft of his actual current club. We found 25, nearly 30 more yards by having it at the right loft, the right setting. Uh, and sure enough, his performance there was just as good as any of the new products. He didn't need the new driver. Now, you're watching this thinking, well, you've just done yourself out of a sale there, Daniel. I'm not here to sell equipment. I'm here to give good advice, the best advice, and give my expertise to help golfers find the ball flight they're looking for. Now, in this case, it meant that his own driver worked very well. But one thing we're hoping there is that customer, that member will trust me. And if he is looking to make any purchases in the future, he might then come back to see me. This is what we can offer that the online guys and the internet can't. And by the way, the online is causing some big trouble in retail globally, never mind just golf. So we do value your support. We are here providing a service and we invest in facilities like this. So that's it about it from me this week. I'm hoping to get outside. Maybe next week I'll be filming outside and we'll do a little bit of pitching out on the driving range. But once again, thanks for watching um, and keep liking, subscribing and sharing and I will see you all very soon. Enjoy your golf.